Good morning, folks. We've got just a few items to hit today, but they are important to remember. We're going to hit pre-earthquake signals, the solar and geomagnetic heart connection, and then we'll get you on with your day. But we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star. Those plasma filaments remain stable for now. The solar wind amplification from the corona holes is expected to arrive tomorrow or Tuesday with only minor geomagnetic effect. The incoming bright active regions lack sunspot complexity as of this morning as well. For the second time in the last week, a big earthquake has struck way below the surface in Brazil. These are happening at the upper and lower mantle transition zone, so surface shaking is minimalized. Hopefully, not a series of foreshocks. Speaking of earthquakes, we've got two studies here on pre-seismic electromagnetic signals. In this one, we get confirmation of the geomagnetic field anomalies before big earthquakes, something we've seen many times before. And in the other, we've got about the 200th confirmation that total electron content in the atmosphere changes before big earthquakes. Overall, we've seen about 500 papers on pre-earthquake magnetic or electrical signals, and we are still waiting for them to tell us these events are going to come beforehand. Moving on to two studies about solar storms and human health, specifically the heart. Since I know it's coming in the comments, yes, the thing they put in your arm two years ago impacts the heart too, but solar heart connections have been known about for decades and most of the data in these two papers is from before the nonsense of the last four years. While most people can handle some forced heart rate variability, these papers are yet another foundational work on the mechanism for how an exceedingly high number of at-risk patients see negative heart outcomes during solar storms more so than outside of those times. By the way, they also confirmed the approximately 8 to 13 minute delay between geomagnetic effect and changes in heartbeat. We greatly appreciate your support. Good chance we'll be going live tonight, so you'll have to choose between the circuses on the TV and science chatter. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.